Hey guys, welcome back to Tale of Two Smitties. I am so excited to show you about the project this week because it's one that has been near and dear to my heart. Um, I had the vision, I did some of the work, got a lot of help from Cody of course, and now we're finally ready to show you. So let's see it. Welcome to the Tale of Two Smitties. We're Cody, Laura, and Raleigh. Last year, we bought a school bus to convert into our dream tiny home on wheels. Each Sunday, we share with you our latest progress. We're getting close to moving on to the bus, so click subscribe and join us for the mad rush to finish. So for the doors that we're making, they're for our pantry, which is this area. It'll eventually be no tools, all food. And the doors are gonna just be two big doors, two big pieces, kind of like this. This isn't obviously, this isn't to scale, but they'll just go like this and open, you know, nice and easy like that. And um, these pieces are the ones that I painted. And just to give you a sneak peek, Okay, so just to give you a sneak peek, because you have to wait till the end of the video to see the final reveal, these pieces that you saw Cody cutting and me staining are going to go on the door, kind of like this. Um, again, you saw me paint this, so I'm not even gonna tell you because you should be paying attention. Um, so they're gonna both look like this. It's gonna almost be like hidden doors. Um, and the idea is it's gonna really look more like an art feature design element than pantry doors. So, first door done. So excited, I'm so happy with how it looks. Looks really good. And it feels amazing. Very smooth. Oh, it's not that bad. See? Yeah, it looks awesome. Oh! Cool. been going really really well I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how we're making it happen we painted the doors black and then sanded stained all the trim um, cut them to length and then what we're doing is one side is about three-quarters of an inch the other side is about a half of an inch 
So we are using the flatter side, so the wider three quarter inch side flat on the door. We nailed one flush along the edge. That's kind of our starter piece. Our spacer is the same trim, it's just the half inch size. So that goes right next to it. We're pulling it tight. And then as we nail in the second piece, that's gonna be part of the door pattern. It's crucial to keep it tight. Uh, a lot of these boards have a bend in them. So we're keeping it really tight, nailing in that second board, using the same spacer piece from before, taking it out, using it to the next one. And we've been doing it the whole way. And I don't know about you guys, I think it looks great. Good morning, friends. So uh, today is the first day of my new job. So getting after it with an early start and uh, making a good hearty breakfast. Uh, and uh, even got Laura up here as well. Good morning. And so we're gonna have some bacon and eggs and uh, start the morning off right. Part of the experience. No? no? So we are trying to be in stealth mode as we try to finish up these doors because we're pretty sure it's a no-no to be running power tools in a campground. But we're only going to do two cuts. Two cuts, that's it. We'll ask for forgiveness if we get in trouble. Cody's being a real trooper because I messed this up and he's working to fix it and I'm hiding, <laughs> I'm hiding in the bus. He's trying to figure it out. Not gonna be easy because these things are popping off, unfortunately. We'll check back later.
up okay? How's it on the outside? Okay, it's good. Yeah, it's uh, tilted. Yeah. That way. At the top at and the that top. way at the bottom, yeah. Um, But this is like best case scenario, I feel like. Okay, you want to just leave it for now instead of trying to put more screw holes in the bottom to try and fix it? I think we should just leave it for now. Yeah. Oh we want to try and fix it. I uh, found the hinge a magic may, hinge. The hinge may be able to. All right, let's do the other one. So now that you've seen how the doors all came together, the good, the bad, and the ugly, it's time for the big reveal. So let's check them on out. guys can tell but it is getting dark outside and the lighting's not great so you're not getting the beautiful pictures of how this really looks in person but to get those pictures I'm gonna be posting some on Instagram in the next couple days so please make sure you follow us on Instagram at Tale of Two Smitties and like 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 away <laughs> general vibe and style that I've kind of picked for the design of tots has been what I like to call Scandinavian cozy. So that can mean a lot of different things, but to us, it's obviously been a lot of whites and blacks and woods and grays. Um, and just kind of going off that look while being modern, but not cold. So, um, the doors I feel like have kind of brought all of that together. There's obviously a black element and a wood element and a lot of kind of sharp clean lines so it still looks modern but the stain of the wood kind of makes it a little bit cozy and ties it into our butcher block and everything else in our bus specifically with these doors my favorite part is that it's creating a really seamless look and seamless design and it's not a pair of clunky pantry doors it almost looks like an accent wall and you're not even thinking oh all their food and Electrical wiring is behind it, which is my favorite part for sure. Thanks so much for watching today, you guys. I really hope that you like the doors as much as I do. If you do, please click that like button. And if you don't already subscribe, click subscribe. What are you waiting for? Next week, we're going to talk a little bit more about another one of my projects, which are the different kinds of curtains we did. You may have already caught them on Instagram, but we'll dive a little bit deeper next week. See you then.